Hi everyone, I'm Miss Colleen. Can you tell me your favorite thing to do when you go outside? When I say go, I want you to tell me. Ready? Go. That sounds like fun. Okay, I want you to try something with me now. I want you to try and grab the air around you and hold on to it. I'm gonna do it too. Ugh. I can't hold it. Did you get any? Okay, let's try something else. Let's try moving our hands back and forth like this. Can you feel the air moving on your hands? I can feel it too. Okay, let's try one more thing. I want you to take a deep breath in with me. All right, let's breathe in. <gasps> and now let's breathe out. <sighs> So we can't see the air and we can't hold on to it, but we know it's there because we can feel it when we move our hands and we can breathe it in. Do you know someone who's there even though we can't see him? God! The Bible tells us even though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy. So how can we know that God is there even though we can't see him? Well, we can look outside and see the things that he's made. We can look at the sky and the trees and the birds and the flowers. And we can even look inside. God made your grown-ups, and he made you too. And our verse says that we can rejoice or we can celebrate with joy. And so we can celebrate the things that God has made. So I want you to take a minute and I want you to tell me two things that God has given you that are really good. Okay, ready? Tell me your two things. Those are really great things, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna have us pause here for a minute because our friend, Miss Kelsey, is going to show us an art project that helps us with what we're learning. Hi friends, my name is Miss Kelsey and I'm so excited to draw with you today. So far today, we've learned that even though we can't see God, we know that he's there. Kind of like the wind. We can't see the wind, but we know that it's there by the way that it blows the leaves on the trees. Are you ready? Today we're going to draw a tree getting blown by the wind. All right, so do you have your materials? You'll need some paper, a marker or a pencil, and some crayons if you want to color. All right. So what we're going to draw first is the trunk of the tree. We want to make it look like it's getting blown by the wind. So we're going to make the trunk a little bit slanted. So make a slanty line, kind of like this. Now you're going to go to the other side to make the tree trunk. And make another line, like this. Now, I know a lot of you have drawn a tree before. We're gonna draw the top of a tree, make it look kind of like a big fluffy cloud. So we're gonna do this. And see how the tree is slanted sideways? All right, now it's time to draw the wind. When you think of the wind, it's kind of all over the place, isn't it? it it's strong and it swirls around and you see things flying around in the sky. So we're gonna draw some swirls. So if you can bring your line out and make a circular motion like a swirl, just like that. Can you try it? You can do another one this way. Line and a swirl. Let's try one, let's try one this way. A line and a swirl. Let's do one more. A line and a swirl. Now, if you want, you can add some grass to the bottom. And there's our tree blowing like blowing from the wind. Now, I have a couple colors with me. You can choose what colors you want, but I have a brown and a green to color my tree. You can continue to color later if you want, but I'm going to color my trunk brown. And I'm going to color the tree, the tree leaves green.
All right, great job, everyone. Your trees look so good. And we see our wind. And we can be reminded that with the wind, just like we can't see it, just like we can't see the wind, we can see how it blows the leaves on the trees so we know that it's there. Just like we can't see God, but we know that he's there. All right, back to you, Miss Colleen. How did it go? Can you hold up what you made? Wow, I love that. Thank you for sharing. So before our break, we talked about how we don't get to see God, but there are many ways that we can know he's there and that we can celebrate and rejoice with joy at all the things God has given us. We can also rejoice when we put our trust in Jesus to save us from our sins. Do you remember what sin is? Sin is when we do things that make us feel bad on the inside or when we hurt other people. Like when we don't share our toys or we don't listen to our grown-ups. But doing things God's way looks like listening to our grown-ups even when we don't want to and loving people and being kind to people. Sometimes doing things God's way can be hard. But Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins and then he rose from the dead and he defeated sin and death and now he's in heaven with God. We can celebrate when we put our trust in Jesus because he's taken away our sins and he helps us to do things God's way. And we can know that he's with us because he's the one who's helping us. Let's practice our verse. 1 Peter 1.8 Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy. So let's practice that together. I'm going to break it apart and then I want you to repeat it after me. So we're going to start with a normal voice. Ready? Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy. Good. Okay, let's do it in a silly voice. Let's do an underwater voice. Can you put your underwater voice on? Are you ready? Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy. That was silly. Okay, let's do it one more time in our loud voices. Ready? Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy. Remember, just like the air that we need to breathe is there, even though we can't see it, Jesus is always there too. When we put our trust in Jesus, he helps us do things God's way, and that brings us joy. Our big idea this week is that trusting in Jesus brings us joy. I want you to say it with me this time, okay? Trusting in Jesus brings us joy. One more time. Trusting in Jesus brings us joy. Thank you so much for joining me. You and your grown-up can find some fun activities to do on the RIB website. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that when we trust in you, it brings us joy. And I pray for each of the boys and girls who are listening to this talk, that they will put their trust in you, God, that you would save them from their sins, and that they would have the joy that only you can give us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye.